I don't think I've ever made a video where I'm actually like holding the camera before, <laughs> but uh, anyway, um, I wonder if it'll be better if I make it this way. Recently when I make videos, I'm like, I don't know if I'm going to post this. Um, and I might not. Um, and I might. Who knows? Um. But I was just on the phone with a friend. And I was sharing these fears that I have. Um. I have no friends, which is funny because I was on the phone with a friend. Um, but I don't even think that's really necessarily where I was like wanting to go really with this. But like, not only you know was that fear coming up, but there was also this fear of like that I like. don't know how to take care of myself and then I'm always going to be like broken and I know that's a story from trauma but like that's just what's coming up right now and like this fear that um I just started listing things that I felt powerless over like I feel powerless over my ability to like have a consistent routine where I take care of myself and I feel powerless over like keeping my car clean you can see my like jacket back there um and I feel powerless just over a lot I feel powerless over a lot of stuff and um I feel really powerless over food um, and it sucks. It sucks because, like, I want so badly to eat in alignment with my values. And, like, because of this, like, powerlessness that I feel over food, I don't do that. Um, and as I was, like, talking with my friend about stuff that was going on in their life also, but, like, stuff that was going on in mine, like, what came up was like it's safe to accept myself. And that is, like, scary that is really scary like I'm safe to accept myself what it's safe to accept myself you know because of that fear of like I'm try looking into the camera <laughs> but like what happens if I accept myself like oh but I might always be this way like I might always give up on my routine and my consistency and I might always be a little bit powerless over food and I might always have my car a mess and like so it's safe it's safe to accept that like I'm gonna be okay even if by outer circumstances it might not look like I'm okay or like what I think my life should look like it doesn't look okay compared to that but yeah I don't know it's just like kind of radical there's this book called Radical Self-Acceptance by, um, don't know their name off the top of my head. I think it starts with a T. Um, but just to, like, radically accept everything about me, like, that I have these values that I'm not, like, living up to. Oh, I can accept that. Like, it's, 
I'm going to be okay if I accept that. Whoa. <laughs> um, so, anyways, I guess that's it. Thanks for listening.